The world of Elder Scrolls is huge, filled with mysteries and sometimes hard to comprehend. Potentially interested in roleplay players may be scared after they see the amount of lore. But fear not, ESO RP Windman series will help you to find your way within this overwhelmingly big world. My name is Howard L, I am a simple bard from Rimen, and I will try to guide you through roleplaying in Elder Scrolls Online. When creating a character, it is important to know their place in Tamriel. Today we will look at general factions, organizations that any race or class may belong to, or in some cases joining those factions may be your character's goal. Probably the most controversial group in this video is the Undaunted. They are sometimes brave, sometimes reckless heroes, who find their pleasure in risking their lives on daily basis, and then celebrate their victories in taverns, boasting about their deeds to other Undaunted. Venture into creepy forest pursuing shapeshifting Mosmer. Check. Break into the ancient ruin full of malevolent vampires and a dragon. Check. Jump into Oblivion Portal, in and out, 20 minutes adventure. Check. Some players do not consider Undaunted as a canon faction, and think of them as an excuse for MMO dungeon mechanics. However, I think you can feel free to play as one of the Undaunted in Elder Scrolls Online, for a couple of reasons. First. The world is filled with delves, dungeons and trials, so you always have where to go as one of the Undaunted. Second, there are Undaunted enclaves in game and your character definitely has their place within the world of ESO, no matter canon or not the faction is for Elder Scrolls and Universe in general. And finally, this is your character and you created the way you want it to be. So, if you want your character to be brave, sometimes on the verge of madness brave, Undaunted character is for you, moreover, you can bring your companions to adventures of an extreme fun. Or was it extreme danger? Alright, I got confused, so let's move on. If you see your character as a brave warrior, but they think that going into too dangerous places without comrades is foolish, and also tend to polish their martial arts rather than drinking in tavern during their free time, the next guild probably suits better. On a regular basis, fighter guild members act like mercenaries who are professional with their weapons and skills. Their activities depend on the needs of population in the area, may it be protecting caravans from bandits on the roads, or exterminating dangerous creatures who threaten locals. However, during the events of Elder Scrolls Online they took on more honorable mission, to destroy dark anchors all over the Tamriel. If you think your character would be evil fighter or fearless mercenary, look into Fighter's Guild, it may suit them well. Next faction on the list suits well for those who don't find swinging a sword for their liking. If you character more into study of magic arts than sweaty trainings, you can find them fit in the Mage's Guild. Mage's Guild was founded by Vanus Galerion, one of the most famous mages. While being a member of the Sejic Order, he had a strong disagreement with their isolationism and wanted to bring miracles of magic closer to common people. Many Sejic mages had doubts in his intent, but despite of those, Vanus eventually succeeded. Not only he formed the guild itself, but he also defined all nowadays schools of magic. Mages' guild consolidate magicians throughout Tamriel, promote research, teach those who show talent and will to learn, and sell their services to those who can afford them. Probably your character considers magic as something sacred. Maybe they think magic is something that should not be open to common people. 
In this case, mysterious Sejic order is what your character should apply to. This group of mages try to limit their contacts with society. However, members of Sejic order are known for being advisors to different rulers in Tamriel. They practice mysticism, most complicated and confusing school of magic. Mysticism, or what Psijics call it, the old ways, is described as a discipline capable of altering the nature of magic itself, and it is completely illogical compared to any other school of magic. Be warned, joining the Psijic Order is not the easiest task. Isle of Artelm, mythical residence of the Order, vanished without a trace from Tamriel. There are rumors of portals leading to the island hidden on Samorset but no one knows exactly if those rumors are true. In case you're not familiar with role-playing and lore, while I would not recommend to create a member of a Sejic Order from scratch, those who completed training and were accepted to the Order show remarkable knowledge and skill in magical art. But playing as an aspiring student may not only grant you smooth experience in role-playing, but also can be a great opportunity to learn new things about the world, magic and history. Continuing the list of scholastic factions, we cannot miss Antiquarian Circle. Your character may think that learning magic is long and boring process, but history always was their point of interest. They know that ruins and caverns contain priceless knowledge, just like piles of old books. If this is the case, Antiquarian Circle will be great faction to join. Knowing the price of antique items and following the pursuit of the lost knowledge of the past, Antiquarians search for clues to ancient objects in dangerous and abandoned places. They look for them with the help of their keen eyes and the Aelate scrying tool called Antiquarian Eye, then they study those objects carefully. The circle is a part of ancient University of Gwilym, one of the oldest educational organizations in Tamriel, which might have been founded in the late first era. It was located in Cyrodiil, but during Alliance War its members fled from the heartland to different regions. Antiquarians founded a new satellite in Solitude, and now continue to work from there. Blah blah blah. Books, magic tricks, dusty cellars, you're not all about them, are you? You are about party! Singing, playing music, dancing, all of these things keep the world going. If you share this opinion, come join Solitude Bards College. Solitude Bards College has two departments, Lute and History of Music. It trains a lot of bards, and most of them are successful after graduation. Former students have good chances to work for noble houses or even in Imperial City. But maybe you find Nord music monotonous and their songs about Skyrim do not fancy you that much. Visit beautiful Isle of Somerset to apply to the House of Reveries. They are the group of magnificent performers, poets, musicians, jugglers, you name it. All members of the House of Reveries wear unique masks, and each member takes a unique nickname representing their character. New applicants are called hopeful before they are part of the house. Parts from the House of Reveries not only perform around Somerset Isles, but they also travel to different parts of Tamriel with their show. Next on the list is Dragonguard faction. Originally, they were warriors who came from Akarir to serve the Emperor. But after the fall of the Empire, their purpose has changed. In Elder Scrolls Online, Sai Sahan reforms Dragon Guard to stop Dragon Threat in elsewhere. Their base is located east from Senchal, on the Tideholm Island. Your character can join this noble faction to hunt down dragons and keep skies of elsewhere clear.
But what if you consider a dragon as dangerous, but not the most treacherous beasts? What if you know that because you are the beast yourself? If your character is a vampire who wants to keep peace with the living, they would find themselves knocking on the door of Castle Ravenwatch one day. Members of House Ravenwatch are mostly vampires who learn to live with their curse and resist their urge to kill innocent. During the events of ESO, House of Ravenwatch opposes factions of evil vampires in different regions of Tamriel. Your character may join them to fight for a good cause. Or... Or... You can embrace your vampiric nature and admit that vampires must rule over the living. Well, not only the vampires. Greyhost, first of the evil factions covered today, consists of powerful vampires and werewolves. Once a powerful army in the times of the First Era, the Greyhost makes its return in the events of Elder Scrolls Online. Part of the Grey Host serve Malak Bal, leading his armies from Cold Harbor. Another part joined new leader, Rada al Saran, in the attempt of breaking the contract with Bal. Be fooled not, they are not trying to break the contract to stop their killing sprees, rather to be their own masters when they take over the Tamriel. What if you never encountered any daedra curses? Maniacal genocides were never your interest. Although your character is far from honest, they consider vampires' passion as way too much. See if shiny coins are what they are aiming for. Probably then it's a better idea to step away from the supernatural and look into something more realistic. For instance, someone's pockets asks Thieves Guild about that. Oh, these guys will teach you how to live. Thieves Guild is criminal faction which specializes in... <laughs> can you believe it? Thieving. Their main base is located in Abba's Landing, but every member is welcomed at any outlaw refuge which can be found in all major cities. If you know the right people, of course. However, knowing the right people will not save you from members of the next faction if you are unlucky enough to get on their list. Yes, we are talking about Dark Brotherhood, the faction of shadowy assassins, beloved by many and feared by even more. Once a part of Morak Tong, Dark Brotherhood managed to best them in popularity across Tamriel. Dark Brothers and Dark Sisters worship Sethis, the Dreadfather the personification of chaos, and the Night Mother, who is sometimes called the wife of Sadis. Different legends and books tell different stories about Night Mother's origin. The only clear fact is that she is a spirit who leads the Brotherhood. To summon Dark Brotherhood and offer them a contract, one must do a ritual called the Black Sacrament. The Night Mother hears every Black Sacrament performed, and relays them to the designated members, the listeners. Throughout its existence, Dark Brotherhood fulfilled numerous famous executions, and they always have a couple of contracts for your assassin character. Morak Tonk is another assassin guild. Although we don't know when exactly it was founded, there are clues of Tonk's activity back to the first era. It did not gain such influence around the whole time rail as the Dark Brotherhood, but it managed to flourish in Morrowind. Moreover, Morak Tonk have unique right to perform their executions under the Morrowind government. That exquisite right makes Morak Tonk legal in the eyes of Dunmer. However, we cannot say that about the rest of Tamriel. Assassins bring death, but who said death is the end? Death is just the beginning. 
Necromancy is banned in most regions of Tamriel. Not only it is frowned upon, it is a criminal act which sometimes may bring even harder punishment than murder. Yet, dark arts of undeath are tempting, and many and many mages study this vile path in attempts to reach power, immortality, or everything at once. One of such mages was Manimarko, the King of Worms, once intelligent student of Sejic Order, who went too deep into his dark passion. Because of his study of necromancy, he was banished from Sejic Order and started to gather followers to spread the dark art. Eventually, he formed the Order of the Black Worm, also known as Worm Cult, faction of notorious necromancers. Worm cult necromancers became especially active during the plane melt, when Manimarka sided with Malak Bal to suck Tamriel into Cold Harbor. Many necromancers can raise undead to their service, but few of them conquered the pass of lichdom. Becoming a lich is extremely difficult and risky endeavor, which requires lots of knowledge, efforts and time. Also, Manipulations with their own souls may drive leeches into madness over time. Whether it is armies of undead to your command, or eternal undeath as a lich, necromancy promises great power for even greater price. Characters who delve into dark arts are always welcomed in the worm cult as disciples. Those who are not interested mostly welcomed as undead servants. And now we came to the end of the first video. What faction does your character belong to? Did I miss your favorite guild? Or maybe you'd like to disagree with any fact you heard here? Let me know in the comments below. In the next episode we will talk about ESO Alliance specific factions. I hope this will inspire you for an adventure of your own. Thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for the next episode of ESO RP Wingman.